Right now what you see in front of you are the main components of the cold wax and oil painting itself. That would be number one, the cold wax, and number two, the oil paints. And you can work with just cold wax medium and oil paints. And as far as brands go, the cold wax medium comes from a company called Gamblin and another company called Dorlins. I've used them both. I think they both work well. You have to choose one of them, so I just tend to go with Gamblin, and I, I do like that brand. You can see here that the consistency is sort of like shortening. If you're a chef and you work with um, shortening, then that's kind of what it looks like. It, it, it definitely is thick, and it lends. Why would you use cold wax? Um, which is, I guess, a good question, right? Why would you add cold wax to your oils? It's used as a medium. It, it allows you to have a lot more sort of texture with your surface. You can impress things into it, and it has just a really nice quality, and you can have a really great surface quality when you're finished. And you use the cold wax medium really in the place of the typical or traditional oil painting where you would be focusing more on adding solvents, uh, liquid, and you know the odorless mineral spirits and linseed oil and all the other kinds of oils, walnut oil, safflower oil. I'm not a traditional oil painter. I never have been. I, this is my first introduction to working with oils at all. And <clears throat> I guess over time I have decided that I don't really want to use just the cold wax medium with my oil paints. There are reasons for this and they boil down to stability um, and structure of the oil paint and cold wax surface itself. I've talked with the people at Gamblin and they've got some great experts over there and I encourage any one of you, if you ever have a question about what you're using, to call them. They're very friendly. They've got several people that I've spoken with. Uh, great resource of information in this medium, any of the products that they sell. Basically though, when you add the cold wax medium to the oils, um, up to a one-to-one -one ratio, so you always want to have, um, you know, maybe a little bit less of the cold wax medium to the oil. So you could do one to two or one to three, and up to one-to-one -to -one with um, the cold wax medium to the oil paint, and mix that up. And then what I'll do though, before I even add that to the oil paint, is I'll go one step further, and I, I use this product called. Um, Galka gel. It's made by Gamblin and I like it because it's a resin and what happens when you add this to the cold wax itself in about a ratio again up to about one to one but I'm doing it anywhere from one to three, one to two with the cold wax medium. I kind of mix that up at the beginning of the day make it fresh or if I've made too much at the end of the day I'll store it till the next day but I'll then take that and I'll add that to my oil paint, um, again up to about a one-to-one -one ratio. And just um, that works really well. It, what happens is the final surface will have a little bit more satiny look instead of matte. And it also strengthens the surface. Some people will say that their cold wax and oil paintings kind of chip uh, or they, they are vulnerable to chipping. And of course any painting can do that. but. By adding a little bit of that G-gel, you're going to strengthen the um, adhesion between the surface of paint and cold wax medium to the surface, the board, um, again, is the surface that I like to work on. And so I, that's the reason that I do that. So here you can see that um, in addition to the cold wax medium and the G-gel, I have a couple of paints here. My oil paints, um, some people say, well, what's the best brand? Really, you can use a lot of different brands. I've, I've got three here, but they're endless brands, and I, I guess I wouldn't worry too much about that. Try to use the best quality you can, but try to always get your paints on sale, right? <laughs> and then, um, let's see what else. Gamzal and Galkid, uh, again, I get those from Gamblin. And the Galkid, again, is very much like the G gel but in liquid form. So yes, I could use that instead. The difference being that Galkid is a liquid and the G gel 
Galka gel is a gel. So it, its consistency is a lot more like that of cold wax medium. When you mix the two together, um, again, it's just a matter of them maintaining that uh, thicker structure. And then Gamzol, I will sometimes do a 50-50 mixture of Gamzol to Galkid. And in that case, I would use this product, which is liquid, to this product, which is liquid. And I would put them into a bottle like this. I like to store various things in bottles because you can cap them off and they stay nice and they're easy to pour from. This is a 50-50 then of the Galkid and the Gamsol. And what I do with that is when I want more liquidy paint, like let's say I wanted to uh, pour from a bottle or let's say that I wanted to use string um, and, and I've shown that in some of the other videos. Um, this is what I use to make that oil and cold wax mixture a little bit more liquidy and, and that goes really well. If you like to use brushes and uh, you know get more of a calligraphic gestural mark then that's what I will bring out the 50-50.